Hey guys, Chris and Eddie here, coming to you from my home in Thailand, here in my office. Just looking at this book, Levitation, and in particular, this quick video is about the position of the body. It says here on the chapter, some practical secrets. It says, uh, there is a way, there is a special way of sitting if you want to do a levitation. But there is also a special way of breathing. So I know there's a special way of breathing. There's many different breathing techniques and breathing is you know, very important or is definitely important when it comes to levitating or flying. You control the breath, you control the energy. So I know that already. But it says there's a special way of sitting. I don't believe that you have to sit like cross-legged like a yogi, you sit cross-legged in the lotus or half lotus, whatever. Maybe in ancient times, ancient India, Tibet, um, maybe that's how they did it and it worked for them. But I believe in this modern age, we can, you know, you've got a choice to, to do, to levitate, standing up, okay? I'm not like uh, Asian, I'm not Indian or Tibetan. You know, it doesn't come naturally for me to sit even in half lotus. It's not comfortable for me, you know. We're not used, as Westerners, not used to sitting, you know, cross-legged. I mean, even just sitting cross-legged comfortably for more than 10 minutes, it doesn't feel comfortable for me. So it used to even go in the half lotus or even like a full lotus, which is like out of the realm of possibilities for me at the moment. You know, maybe for the Indians and Tibetans and people from that part of the world, but they're used to sitting in these positions. You know, great, perfect for these people. They can sit in like lotus or half lotus and they can be comfortable maybe for hours meditating or practicing, but for people like me and many Westerners, where we're not accustomed to sitting cross-legged, you know, we grew up sitting on a chair. And so, you know, I don't believe that you have to have a special way to sit to be able to levitate. You don't have to sit cross-legged on the, on the floor to achieve levitation. Of course, that's one way to do it. And of course, I believe it can work. Of course, I do. I'm open-minded, but for people like myself, I want to fly like Superman does, just stand there, you know, stand there on the ground and just charge my energy and just go, you know, just, just go straight up. And even in my normal training, you know, I don't really want to sit cross-legged on the floor. It's not comfortable for me. I do my training sometimes lying down on the bed or sitting down or usually standing up on my feet and so this idea that you have to sit cross-legged on the floor, floor that's, an, that's an, like an older idea and for more modern people who don't find it comfortable sitting cross-legged going to half lotus or full lotus we have to know that we don't have to do it that way okay like 50, 60, 70 years ago we might have thought you know Okay, we have to do it that way. That's the way the ancient uh, Indians, uh, Tibetans, and people like that did it. Now we can do it our own way. Okay, we can just you know we can just stand, and we can be comfortable, and we can train for as long as we want and be comfortable. Just like these like um, people from Asia are comfortable sitting cross-legged for hours. Don't be close-minded and don't think that, okay, this is what you have to do. You have to learn the half lotus, you have to learn the full lotus, you have to sit there, you have to be, get through the pain, because for a lot of people it is painful crossing your legs like that. And some, for some people it can take months or even years to reach a point where it's even comfortable to sit like that. And really, when you're meditating or when you're practicing to levitate or fly, you need your mind to be totally relaxed. You don't need to be feeling discomfort or pain in your legs, from your muscles stretching, you know. 
That's why, as Western people, I, I encourage you to be more open-minded and, and realize, okay, yes, levitation of light is possible, we know that, but we can also do it from a standing position, or sitting, or lying. So that's all I wanted to say. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'm not talking about meditation, I'm talking about actual levitation training now, training to fly. So let me know in the comments, how do you do your own training? If you're a Westerner, do you sit cross-legged on the floor like the Asian people? Or do you do your training standing up or sitting down? You know, let me know in the comments. Let's uh, share our experiences and ideas. And uh, this has been Chris and Eddie signing out from my home in Thailand. And I'll talk to you again very soon.